Hey guys, what's up? Alright, it's finally time to go into the inferno. And wow, I've been looking forward to making this video for a really long time. I really want to show you guys some easy techniques that you might not have heard before in any other videos about how to deal with the inferno. Or even if they touch on them, they definitely don't go in depth. So, if you've watched other guides or other videos or you've seen anything about the Inferno before, you might see a lot of interesting terminology, such as the two tick blob flick, one tick alternating, um, or even other techniques. And they do work. Uh, they're great. But they can be intimidating. And they can be really difficult to learn, difficult to implement. And uh, it, it's, it's a real... Um, I feel like it's a deterrence to people who want to get into the Inferno for the first time. It makes it look very difficult. It makes it look a lot scarier than it needs to be. And in this video, I want to kind of forget about a lot of the techniques that we might have heard of in the past. And we're going to try something new. And in my opinion, it makes the Inferno a lot easier. Um, it, it makes it simpler. Uh... And yeah, I want to showcase that in this video. So let's take a look at my gear setup. Um, I'm wearing Range Armor Missouri, and I have a Regen Bracelet, some Devout Boots, and a Light Bear. And a lot of this is basically for HP and Prayer Regen, right? So the Devout Boots are pure Prayer Bonus with no negative offsets. Uh, regen bracelet gives decent stats and it also doubles your HP regen. So if we're going to be in the Inferno for, call it two hours, right? Um, that's 120 bonus health on top of our normal regen. If you combine it with a max cape, so if you have a max cape, I highly recommend bringing this, that quadruples your HP regen. So you're now getting, if you're in here for 120 minutes, you're getting 480 HP regen over the course of the Inferno. So if you have a Max Cape, bringing both of these is great. If you don't have a Max Cape, just bring an Assembler. No big deal. Um, it's fine. You just don't get that um, times 4 HP regen. It'll be okay. Um, the Light Bear is for SGS specking. So that's going to help with Prayer as well. This is kind of an Endurance race. Dredging all your supplies... All the way through 69 waves of the inferno uh that can be quite the challenge but this is going to make it a lot easier right otherwise the blood fury is for a little bit of extra tanking and it gives you some prayer as well and uh finally the alidness ward i love the upgraded alidness ward because not only does it give you some magic attack bonus for barraging those enablers but it gives you really good range defense as well beyond that what you might have seen recommended in other guides is that they bring uh, they bring some mage swaps. And we're not going to be bringing any mage swaps other than our Kodai and our shield. We're actually going to be bringing some tank swaps. So I'm bringing Bandos. Um, you can bring Torba. You can bring um, full Justicar. Just make sure that you swap out your helmet, right? So bring the full three-way set of Justicar. That's fine. Um, and if you don't have any of that, gosh, even Burroughs works. Even even Burroughs armor works. So two-way melee swap. Um, I have a Tebow. This is not a budget build run. I highly recommend the Tebow. Uh, Bofa works. It makes it a longer and a harder run. So uh, especially Zuck. Zuck will take significantly longer and you'll probably end up getting three sets of uh, major ranger spawns. Otherwise, yeah, then a blowpipe and I got dragon darts in there. Um, let me make a note really quick. Um, this guide is going to be split up into three parts. And the first part is going to be wave 1 through 49. The second part is going to be wave 50 through, up, up through the single Jad. And the final video will be triple Jads and Zuck. Um, and the reason I have it, I have it split up into those three segments is one to 49 are considered the easier waves. 50 up through Jad are the harder waves. And, uh, then of course we got triple Jads and Zuck. They'll get their own video. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's, uh, let's pre-pot up. Send this bad boy. I do have a heart. You don't need the heart. I'm just using it as a pre-pot. If you don't have it, no big deal. 
Otherwise, I am bringing nine super restores, nine brews. Uh, the two Bastion potions are going to be for the final fights versus Triple Jad and Zuck. The stamina potion is for Zuck. And the Fally Shield, we're going to try to use both charges of the Fally Shield before we get to wave 50. That's our goal. Use both charges of the Fally Shield before wave 50. So anyway, once we start... Um, for the first half of the Inferno, until the Major starts showing up, we are going to be praying range at the beginning of every wave. Every wave will start with range. So here we go. Pray range. And we freeze the Nibblers. Always try to catch that middle Nibbler. And then we'll just wait for whatever monster it is to come and approach us. And this right here, this tile right here is a bat safe spot tile. And we can hit the bat freely from this tile every time. He can't hit us. So like I said, we'll start with prey range. There is no middle nibbler, so we'll just freeze whoever. And if you notice... Um, as soon as my hit goes off, right, as soon as the monster dies, it disappears instantly. And that is actually because I'm using the Entity Hider plugin with high dead NPCs on. So if you want your monsters to disappear immediately, and that way you're not accidentally misclicking half dead monsters, um, get the Entity Hider plugin. Turn high dead NPCs on. Alright, so we'll just take down the Nibblers. These are free waves, good to heal off of with Blood Barrage. And now we're going to start seeing Blobs. So when a Blob sees you, you want to switch your prayer. Right? And then a couple ticks later, we'll switch our prayer again. And let's go more in depth about the Blob. Let's talk about the Blob really quick. So the way the Blob works is you need to be praying as soon as he sees you. And once he sees you, three ticks later, he's going to attack with the opposite prayer. So he saw us praying range, and then he attacked with magic. And then he saw us attack uh, with magic, so we protect range. And you kind of want to flick back and forth every six ticks. And it's kind of hard to count six ticks when there's a lot going on. So you really just want to get the feel for it. But he sees you on tick one. And he attacks on tick four with the opposite prayer style that you were using when he saw you. So there he goes. He sees us. We'll switch to mage. Oops, let's take him down. Sees us again. We switch to range. And we just kind of go back and forth. Now we brought our SGS, so we want to use it on cooldown. If we remember. So let's SGS the melee right here. And we'll SGS him again. It's mostly for prayer. Not necessarily health. We want to milk that prayer bonus. Or that prayer regen. Out of our SGS as much as possible. Right. So here we go. We got our bat safe spot. We can just take him down freely from here. Pray range, throw our mage gear on, and we'll throw our barrage at the pile right away. And in those early waves especially, um, you know, I'd rather chase the, the nibblers on the early waves than on the late waves when it gets really sketchy. Uh, save our pillar health so we're not risking them dying in the late waves. It's better to play a little risky early than it is to play risky late. Alright, but here's the blob. He sees us with range. We switch to mage. A couple ticks later, he sees us with mage. We switch to range. We just go back and forth like that every six or so ticks. You can get it on tick six or seven. It's okay. You don't got to be tick perfect. Here we go. Prey range. Catch those nibblers. A 40 XP drop is a guaranteed full combo. It will kill them all if you see that 40 XP drop. All 
right? And we can heal off these guys. This is a good opportunity to heal is off the Bloblets. Oh, they would die. All right, there we go. We got one more Blob. So he sees us with Mage. We switch to range. Sees us with range. We switch to Mage. And he can throw, like, he, he can hit you kind of while his death animation is going off. So always try to flick them. Um, even if it looks like they're dying, he might be able to hit you anyway. But that was a double blob phase. So now we get a heal off these guys. This is a great wave to heal on. Right, these are free heals. Look at that. Topped ourselves back off. No big deal. And now we get to start seeing the melee -er. So I guess we can pray melee to start this one out, but for the most part, we're going to be engaging our waves with prey range. Heal off these bad boys. And we just blowpipe them down. If you're struggling with health, if you're really low health, you can always uh, barrage the melee as well. So let's talk about lazy flicking. Lazy flicking is when you turn your prayer on on the exact same tick that he's going to hit you. Just a quick on and off. We'll try to do that again in this wave if we get the opportunity. Alright, so brush him. Throw our melee prayer on so he can't hit us. Let's kill this guy. We'll chase him. We'll get hit by the bat a little bit. Don't even worry about it. Just tank it. And we can SGS this guy. Get our health back. Get our prayer back. Let's talk about the lazy flick. So the lazy flick means that we turn our prayer on only on the uh, tick that he hits us on. And it's very easy to do it for those four tick monsters. A little riskier against the bats because they're only three tick. But getting used to the lazy flick will save us a lot of prayer. Let's get over here so those guys don't see us. We'll deal with them later. Better to deal with one monster at a time. All right, so let's, uh, I don't know. Let's just pray against the melee and take out the bat. There we go, free. And let's work on our lazy flick, right? There's a lazy flick. Lazy flick. Right, so that saves us prayer. Doing lazy flicking is totally free. Throw our range prayer on. And we got a blob and a snake. And it looks like neither one of us can see us. So we can just do one at a time. And let's deal with the blob first. They're nastier. Oops. Forgot to put my uh, blowpipe back on. And we just switch our prayers back and forth every six or seven ticks. Not really doing any technical counting. Just kind of got a feel for it. Melee digs to us. Let's get out of the way. Alright, so let's talk about the corner safe spot. Let's bring him over here. This is a corner safe spot. He wants to move east to west. He wants to move east to west. And because of that, he's right next to me. He's stuck on the corner. And he's prioritizing east to west. So he won't go north-south. And this is called a corner save spot. There's a couple tiles we can do this on. All right? He digs. When he's on this side of the pillar, we can save spot him right here. We don't need to be using our prayers. Right? We can just kill these guys and save our prayer points. That's the most important part of this long endurance run. Let's get an SGS spec on him. And get some of our prayer back. Right? It doesn't matter how high we hit. As long as we're hitting with our SGS, we are regenning prayer. And that's fine. That's all we're after. So we'll pray range. And we know we have a blob, so we're going to switch to mage. Get over here. Let's just deal with the bat. We'll let that nibbler go. We'll kill him in a minute. Let's kill this bat quick so we're not just tanking everything. Alright, let's go deal with the bat. So, or let's go deal with the nibbler. So when he sees me... Pray mage. And we'll get over here. Let's switch pillars. Pray range. Right? And let's kill that nibbler. I don't want that nibbler alive. And now we've switched pillars. And that's fine. 
So rather than waiting for, um, the, rather than dealing with both of them at the same time and worrying about it right now, let's just talk about a really simple strategy when you got a melee -er, and we'll just wait. He's gonna dig. And if you only want to deal with one monster instead of two, we can just wait. There's no harm in that. We're already going to be stuck in here for two hours, right? What's the harm in waiting a couple extra seconds? And then we'll just take him down. We'll work on our lazy flick. Right, so we're lazy flicking right now. We can use our visual metronome. We can use visual or audio cues. It's whatever personally works for you. But we want to get that lazy flick practice and very simple technique, very free to use. Right, and we see how we deal with the blobs. We just switch back and forth every six or so ticks. Work our way back down toward our engage. Right, and here comes the wave. Pray with range on. Get that freeze off. Get another, get this guy down, right? Let's not worry about the melee. He's stuck there for a minute, and we'll just deal with this lone ranger. The blob will come down after that. We'll deal with the blob. Right, so he saw us with range. We pray mage. Oop, that was a little too early, so we'll go back to mage. So don't rush your flicking, your prayer flicking. Uh-oh, and here comes that melee, but we've been waiting for him. So we'll just kill these little bloblets, get them down first. Work on our melee and do a little lazy flicking. There you go, lazy flick. Lazy flick. It looks like I'm back up to 100% spec, so we'll get to our bat safe spot, right? And we'll hit him with our SGS. Boom. Only had a five, no big deal. It still regens our prayer. That's all we're after. We just care about prayer regen. All right. Mage gear on. That's kind of a crappy nibbler spawn. It's hard to hit everything at once. Uh-oh. Dangerous. Tanked quite a bit, so they don't hit you all the time. Oops, why did I do that? Wrong weapon. Let's see if I can kill that Nibbler really quick before he runs off. There we go. Hopefully that hit him. Alright. So yeah, the double blob waves can get really messy. If you're going to be drinking brew, if you're going to be using supplies, it's waves that have double blobs. There's any time to... Like, I won't say waste, but if there's a time to use your supplies, it's on those double blob waves. There we go. And when two of them see us, it's the same thing. So we'll just switch our prayers. Every six or seven ticks, we'll just go back and forth. It doesn't matter if they're the only two monsters who see us. Let's go back and forth. All right, so we'll just deal with his bloblets one thing at a time, and we'll focus on the big guy. Pray against the big guy. Just keep our prayers going back and forth. All right, let's get an SGS spec on him. And then run back to our safe spot. We switch our prayer one time when we do something like that, because he did see us. Even if you get out of his line of sight, he's still going to throw that head out, out after you. After three ticks, after he sees you. Alright. Kill the major. And this is a pretty free wave right here. This is going to be double melee. So let's focus on healing. Let's get our health back. We just pray against the meleeers. And we don't even have to worry about them. So let's work on our lazy flick, right? This is a really free time to be lazy flicking. Right, so we were able to kill him without using any prayer. This nibbler digs down. We can go right here. 
to the south side of this pillar, right? And he gets stuck again. The way I can keep track of what side he's going to get stuck on is his little true tile right here. I am showing his true tile. And his true tile always tries to line up with you. All right? Freeze the nibblers. And now we're going to get into some more challenging NPCs. Now we get the ranger. And the ranger only uses range. It's his only ability, but he hits pretty hard. He can hit 40s, I think. So now we really got to start praying range at the beginning of all of our waves because we cannot risk him getting free hits on us. Very dangerous. And let's talk about some strategy for how we can deal with the ranger. He's probably my favorite NPC in the Inferno. I like him. So check it out, right? He's hiding behind the pillar. But if I'm on this end, he's completely behind the pillar. Can't see him at all. If he's on this end, he's kind of hanging out. And if I attack from this end when he's hanging out like that, I'll see him on the first tick. And here's what I like to do. Put my prey on, and I lazy flick when he stands all the way up, right? All the way up, I put my prayer on. So here it goes. Prayer on. Prayer on. I turn it on when he stands all the way up from his attack. That's the timing to put your prayer on. All right, and now we just got rangers and bats. So these are free damage waves. Nothing can really hit us. If we're praying range, we're not risking anything. We just got to kill the monsters. And rangers, in my opinion, more so than any other monster, they're very free to lazy flick. So we have full SGS spec bar. Let's milk it really quick. One SGS. Two SGS. Not bad. Hit one of them. Now we'll work on that lazy flick, right? All the way up. All the way up. And I love the mage or the ranger. His his, uh, his attack pattern, his animation styles are so easy to watch, so easy to predict. You just turn your prayer on when he stands all the way up. Otherwise, these waves right here that we're dealing with, pretty free. Everything's a ranger. If we're just praying range, we don't even got to worry about the spawns. Nothing can hit us. Let's even take down the bat, and then we'll lure in the ranger. Alright, so here we go. We'll just run back here and wait. Come on over to this side, where he's kind of hanging out on the end. Really good opportunity for me to just do some lazy flicking, right? The reason we're lazy flicking is because this is an endurance run. We're just trying to save prayer. Want to save as much prayer as possible. And we're going to be using our Fally Shield in these first few waves. We're going to be using them before wave 50. So I'm not even worrying about drinking my super restores. I'll be using my Fally Shield when I get too low. All right, now we got a blob, so we got to start paying attention. Where's he going to go? Oops. I'd rather tank blob hits than uh, than tank ranger hits, so I'm just going to camp range. Look, he, he didn't hit us that much. It could have been worse, but it wasn't. He sees us with range. We switch to mage. So we don't need to worry about being super on tick with the blobs. We can risk a couple hits, especially in these early waves. It'll be okay. We have SGS to heal us. We got Blood Barrage to heal us. We got plenty of opportunity to heal. And I'd like to save the supplies for later. Right? If he did hit us a little bit, we could have just barraged up with Blood Spells. If there's two blobs on you, it can get a little sketchy, especially in the late waves. But in these early waves, not a huge deal. Pray range. I think that blood saw me, so let me protect. Oh, it looks like he didn't. Alright, see if I can just kill this bat really quick, and then we'll go back to those nibblers. Kill them really quick. Hopefully they're down. Good, they're down. Okay, now this is a great technique, right? This is one of those techniques that no one really talks about. 
and it makes a combination like this really hard so or really easy i mean so normally this is an opportunity where you would be doing a two tick blob flick this is a two tick blob flick um scenario uh we're not going to do that we're going to do what i call the six tick flinch and what we do is we're going to get we're going to pray against the bad monster right the ranger one two mage one, two, mage. And I'm counting the number of hits that I did. I actually went back slow. But you only hit, you hit two times and you run back behind the pillar to your safe spot and you pray uh, against the blob because the ranger won't see you two times in that time span. But we'll get another opportunity to look at it again. We'll get plenty of opportunities to be doing that. All right, pray range. Oh, kind of, kind of bad nibbler spawn. I don't know. Did the did the blob see me? I don't think he did. Hopefully that killed him. Might tank a blob hit. Yep, no big deal. Now we'll just take everything down, even though our run energy is going to be very low. So the bats completely drained our run energy, but it's not a big deal. Everything was a ranger. Right now the blob sees me, so we switch. We're dragging in the male or the the ranger. Just go back and forth. So now it's just the ranger. Remember, we can do our lazy flicking. When he stands all the way up, there he is. All the way up. So yeah, learning to lazy flick the rangers is very healthy for our prayer. Is this a double blob? This might be a double blob. Yep. We'll just get back here and all we have now is the ranger. We can just sit here and wait for the blobs to kind of get stationary. And then we'll get over here and we'll deal with the blobs one at a time. Oops, wrong attack style. Oops, I didn't realize that Nibbler was still alive. That sucks. Alright, deal with his little cronies. And we're dealing with a bigger blob now. So I'll kill all the little cronies while flicking against the blob. Just focusing on the big blob. Now let's actually get over here. And try to get that Nibbler down. He's doing a lot of damage to that pillar. I think that killed him. Yep. So if we got a tank one hit, you know, we run out of safety for just a tick. The prayer flick isn't that crucial. We have plenty of health. We can always heal, especially if it's just one blob. And we still have both uh, charges on our valley shield. So let's heal off this. See if we can't heal. Decent. All right, and now we're dealing with rangers and melees, and that's not that bad, because we can always wait out the meleeers. So here we go, we pray range. Catch that middle nibbler, here comes the meleeer. See if we can get them all down. Meleeer might come, nope. So we dodged everything, right? As long as we're just getting back and forth. Now this is messy. Uh, at least it can be if I hit the back guy with my blowpipe. First of all, if I go out this way, the melee is going to come and slap me. If I go out this way, I don't think I can reach the ranger with my uh, with my blowpipe. So we just wait for the melee to dig. Slow and steady. And never attack him when he's dancing on top of you like that. Never attack him when he's standing on top of you because it'll drag you out and you never... Oops. And you never know what direction it's going to drag you out into. And you might just get slapped by a, a ranger or a major or something. So anyway, I'm forgetting to use my SGS. Let's camp that for a minute. There's one hit. Two hits. And we're basically full health again. So let's lazy flick this guy.
Easy. Again, start with range. We're starting all these waves with range. Uh, I don't think that killed him. I guess it didn't. Now we'll just kill the bat. Nothing else can hit us. Eventually the melee is going to dig, so we'll just wait for him, right? I guess while we're waiting for him to dig, we can just get a little damage off on the ranger. But as soon as he digs, we're going to deal with him alone. Here he is. He's attacking on one, so we can lazy flick on four. There we go. So this is a good, uh, the melee is a little harder to predict, but he's on a four tick cycle. So we can just use our visual metronome. The ranger is a lot easier to predict. His visuals are just so nice, so easy to deal with. There we go. Free range again. Barrage that middle nibbler. Didn't kill him. We were looking for that 40 XP drop. 30 plus 10, he's dead. Now it looks like we got a pretty messy stack, but you already know what we're going to do. You already know. We're going to wait for the melee to dig. And I guess we can get some free hits off on the ranger in the meantime. And I think we're going to get the opportunity to look at another corner safe spot. So he'll dig any second now. Here he comes. And this right here is a corner safe spot tile. So you can see he's trying to move east-west, right? And he prioritizes east-west instead of north-south. So he can't see us. He gets stuck here. We can save all of our prayer. We don't even got to worry about lazy flicking. This is fine. It's good to recognize, right? So this tile right here and this tile right here. And even a couple back. Even a couple back. I'll show that off next time. But those are corner safe spot tiles. Or corner safe spot rows. Let's see if I can uh, SGS this bat. Spread out. Stretch out that Fally shield just a little longer. There we go. All right, he's down. So I think now we got some blobs showing up. It definitely gets harder when you get the blobs in the mix. Riskier. Might chance ahead, but there we go. Now we just get a deal with the melee. He's attacking on one, I'll flick on four. All right. So now we get another opportunity to look at the six tick flinch. So we're going to pray against the one in the back, right? Two hits on the blob, and then run back and switch prayer. So here we go. Ready? Get back in pattern. So this is flinching. It's a little inefficient, but it makes the waves much easier. Instead of learning the two tick, um, two tick blob flicks or one tick alternating, whatever you want to do, uh, you don't have to do any of that. You can just flinch a little bit. Two hits at a time. Not a big deal. And it's easy. Right, so I'll try to get one more hit off with that SGS before I got to use my first charge of the Fally Shield. But we're doing pretty good with the prayer. Right, we haven't used like any supplies. I think we've used a dose of... Uh, a dose of brew and a dose of restore. Oops. Oh well. Hits a zero. Alright, so this is pretty messy. When you get a really nasty wave like this and you don't know how to solve it, just run south. Chug a little brew while you go. And the wave will be almost immediately solved. So check it out. It still looks messy, but we're just going to wait for the melee to come in. Let's move them over a little bit. Oh, actually, I don't think it's instantly solved. We're going to have to deal with the uh, the range. Oh, no, it, it was fine. It was fine. Yeah. So there it is. The wave is instantly solved. Just by running south. 
instead of dealing with a whole bunch of fancy flicking or whatever, we can just run south. So let's see, how do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? Now that we're on the south pillar, this right here, and I will have my tiles in the description. This right here is another bat safe spot. So let's just go there. We'll worry about the blob and we'll kill the bat. Bat can't even hit us. Now we can just deal with one at a time. Oops, I don't want that ranger to see me. Work on our lazy flicking. We'll start working our way back down to our engage tile. Mage gear on. Uh, I hope I didn't mess that up too bad. We're fine. Take a few of the uh, blob heads and we're just going to run south. Got very messy there. All right, and now all we have to deal with are rangers. Melayer can't even see us. He is safe spotted. Let's get this nibbler out the way. We'll start working our way back down. Drink a brew if we need. Let's throw our melee gear on. Actually, the melee gear right there was probably a pretty bad idea because uh, we were only tanking mage hits from the uh, from the blob. But yeah, there's no harm in switching pillars. We can definitely switch pillars. If the wave looks very nasty, if the engage just looked horrible, and you're like, what is going on? There's so many things surrounding me. Just switch pillars. It almost always gives you a better scenario. And if you switch pillars two times, if you go south and then north again, the wave will be solved. Alright, so what do we got here? We got a bat and a... And a a ranger, so we can just deal with both of them. No need to do any fancy prayers, just one at a time. He walks down, now we gotta deal with the ranger, and he's easy to lazy flick. Get our run energy back on. Take down the blob. And I've been neglecting the SGS. We should be using the SGS more. So let's just SGS this little guy. Some free health. SGS the major. Free health. Kill the melee. All right, looks pretty messy. Let's just run south. Pray against the blob. Hit him with our T-bow. Deal with one monster at a time. Barrage his little clump because that melee is going to be coming in hot. Uh-oh, getting really messy now. All right, what do we got? So we can wiggle back and forth. That kind of breaks up some of these little minions. Let's see what this guy does. Oh, I should have done that. 
We're just waiting for the melee air to dig. So here he is. Let's even barrage him down a bit. We can plenty barrage him in just our range gear. It's fine. Didn't get a good opportunity to use that Fally Shield, sadly, because I was too busy uh, chugging Super Restores. But that's what you got to do when you're changing pillars, when you're switching pillars. It's good to just be ready to brew. If it looks like you're taking damage, oops, wrong attack. If it looks like you're taking damage while you're switching pillars, just brew. Got plenty of it. Alright, so I can't seem to break them up, so we're just going to have to deal with one at a time. And we'll worry about the big guy, right? So we're praying against the big guy. Switch. Take him down. Switch. Switch. Alright, see, so he can attack even after his little death animation. We'll just barrage this clump, get some of our health back. Big barrage. And another nice barrage. All right, what is this? Double melee? -er? Yep, double melee. -er. And he's the only one that sees us, so we'll just pray against him. Take him down. Use that SGS spec. We got one. Just keeping our prayer up. We're just about halfway there. We're about to start seeing the Major, and then it gets a little free for another minute there. Here comes the Digger. Now remember, don't click him right away. Let him even out. Let him walk around you. Never click when he's on top of you. Never. Very dangerous. That'll drag you out into horrible positioning. Do a little lazy flicking on this guy. Right, double ranger. This is a free wave. Totally free wave. So when they're really far away like this, look, we can get a phantom barrage off on them. See that phantom barrage? Looked like it hit a zero. But if we were lower health, we would have actually got a little health back. So if you're at max range, I think nine or ten tiles away... From the Nibblers, you can auto-cast a last-second barrage, even if they're dead. And you get that little phantom heal. Very nice. Alright. So deal with these two rangers, and we are officially halfway through the Inferno at this point. I'm pretty sure that uh, making it and just killing a Major, if you can make it all the way up to the Majors and kill one, that is an elite combat task, I'm pretty sure. So there we go. Because it was a double ranger, it's going to be one of those mass nibbler waves. Looks like there's only two, but there's actually a ton. So we'll just kill them really quick. There's a bunch of them. Look at all those hit splats. Don't let them nuke that pillar. I think that got him. Alright. We're dealing with mages. So from now on, from wave 34 on, we're going to engage every single wave with Prey Mage. 100% of the time. And this is where we finally start using the Tebow. The Tebow's for the Majors. Let's drag him into the pillar. No need to be all the way out there. It's always good to drag things into your pillar. Not here for speed. We'll take him down. I am going to try to pick up my Super Restore. But they can attack with melee. So do not be standing in melee distance. I'll just grab it really quick. Timed it right. 
Uh, do not be standing in melee distance when they're going to attack. So we can lazy flick these guys. I don't like to. The visual metronome makes it nicer, I suppose. But if you mess up your lazy flick on these guys, um, it's devastating. They will hit extremely hard. But our main concern right now is starting the waves with Prey Mage on. Always start the waves with Mage Prey on. If you can get the, the Major save spotted, then you can deal with whoever else might be on you. But alright. So, let's talk about flinching. Flinching Majors, especially because they have so much health. We can just do one hit at a time. And with our runoff, we'll even save energy. And this is not inefficient to do. But if you don't want to be doing lazy flicking, if you don't want to lazy flick, lazy flick is still the best way to do this. Um, but if you don't want to be doing lazy flicking, this is a decent alternative to save a little prayer. Right? Lazy flicking is definitely still the best way to deal with this situation right here. But if you don't want to do that, if you're nervous to do that, flinching is fine. So check this out. We got these bats coming toward us. But if I stand back here, I can actually hit nibblers out here or nibblers that are already on my pillar. They cannot hit me from this tile right here. And that's all the way back from the pillar, right? All the way back from the pillar's west side. Otherwise, yep, we'll just deal with this guy. It looks like my visual metronome, he's attacking on three. So I can lazy flick on two, right? Lazy flick on two. And I never try to flick those guys if I don't have my visual metronome on. They're too risky. I don't like, you know, mentally counting ticks is one thing, but I do not like his, uh, his visual cues. You can use his visual cues. There are ways to do it, but I, I don't like it. So the visual metronome makes it a lot easier to be uh, lazy flicking the major. Yeah, we got this stupid blob. Let's just come down here. Hit the nibbler from here. No one else can see me. Hopefully that kills the nibbler. Good. There we go. So he's got one at a time. Let's just, uh, the major will heal his buddies. He'll resurrect them. So it's always good to kill the major first if you can. So let's get a little SGS off on him. Probably not the best monster to be SGSing. He does have uh, better defense, I think. But we can just SGS him anyway. We're not really, you know, it, it, it doesn't matter. Oops. See, so I missed one. I missed a lazy flick and I got massively smacked a 68. And that's why I don't like lazy flicking these guys. You mess up one time and you just get clapped, dude. You get clapped. So yeah, not good. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna heal. So yeah, honestly, when you're fighting the Major, it's better, in my opinion, to just uh, keep one prayer on. Keep your Mage Prey on the whole time. Just heal off this guy a little bit. And then when his little uh, his Blob Clump pops up, hopefully we can get a nice big heal off that. There we go, and big heal, pretty good. Pretty good, maybe we can get one more off on this guy. Mm, not bad, okay. Let's even, uh, we'll blood barrage this clump as well. Get some health back. There we go, full heal. Or I mean full hit, oops. Not that it matter, we're letting this idiot slap us. Okay. So here is a chance where we can do some really easy flinching techniques. So again, this is another type of those six tick flinching. And we're going to go out one time, hit him, go back, pray against the blob. Right? And we'll just continue this on. Hit him one time, pray against the blob. Hit him one time, pray against the blob. And this is pretty efficient for your prayer, and it's a lot easier and safer than doing the two tick, fl uh, the two tick blob flick. So, is it slower? Yes, this is definitely a little bit slower.
But if we're just trying to get our very first Infernal Cape, um, this is so, uh, it's very easy. It's very easy. And we still have that Fally Shield. So, see, there he is. He just resurrected his buddy. But yeah, doing this little flinging technique, and the only reason I have my runoff, uh, there's no real reason other than I just don't want my run to drain. It's the only reason my run is off, so I'll put that back on. And uh, here do we go. What do we got? We got a, uh, a bat and a blob. So we will worry about the blob while we just take the bat down. And he only has half health because he was actually a resurrected minion. So let's do, oops, let's do some SGSing. Right? Even if we hit a 1, it's okay. It doesn't matter. A 1 is fine. We're happy with a 1. As long as it heals just a little bit, we're fine. Alright, knees down. We can barrage the clump. Oh, big heal. Big heal. Very nice. We pray mage to start the wave. So here we go. Let's see. Can we just kill this guy? Let's just take him out with our Tebow. Our Tebow can reach him. And then we can barrage him down, I think. There we go. Nice and easy. And let's just kill that. Oh, we can't hit the Nibbler. That sucks. So we gotta go get that Nibbler. Can't just let him go crazy on the pillar. Uh, hurry up and die. Okay. Throw our melee gear on. In case we tank the bat. And kill that nibbler really quick on the way. There we go. Didn't take any damage rotating pillars. So rotating pillars is fine. If you have seen my Colosseum guide. You will know that I love rotating pillars. I have no problem rotating pillars. So check this out. Uh, we got a bat safe spot right here. We can just stand there and deal with the major. Uh, is that bat coming all the way down? Nope. So we'll just stand here and deal with the major. We're watching our prayer. Now is a perfect opportunity to use our Fally shield, I think. And we do have an SGS we could use to milk it a little more, but now is a pretty good opportunity to use that Fally shield. I like to use both charges before wave 50 but we ended up tanking some extra hits there in the beginning and it kind of sucked so uh we'll, we'll just use the valley shield now now's a perfect time to use it here we go and full prayer look at that easy i still have tons of supplies i have tons of supplies we're already approaching uh we're past wave 40 so here we go mage gear on slap those nibblers and all i gotta deal with oh crap that sucks all I got to deal with is this one blob. So let me get situated. Alright. Hit that nibbler. Alright, perfect. Now we'll just deal with the blob. Double blob waves, they always suck. You can definitely be taking some serious damage on these double blob waves. Alright, try to barrage some uh, try to barrage some of these guys, get some uh, health back. Nice and easy, look at that. Alright. We can just deal with this guy. So like I said, we can just tank him like this. We can do lazy flicking. Or we can do a little flinching. Flinching is fine. Look at that, back and forth. There's nothing wrong with flinching. Flinching is a great way to save some prayer. It's not as good as lazy flicking, but it's a great way to save some prayer and be safe while we do it. All right, so there we go. There's the blob. Back. Switch prayer against the blob. All right, pray against the mage. Back. Pray against the blob. All right, and if we get efficient with it, if we try to make the flinching as efficient as possible um we can do it every six ticks tebow's five tick so we're losing one tick of dps for a lot of safety and security 
And like I've said, two blobs is no different than one. Let's see if we can just take them both out. That sucks. All right. Uh, do a little barraging. Good opportunity to get all of our health back right here. All right. Uh, what do we want to do here? I guess we can barrage first and SGS later. So we'll get them right in the middle, hit them all. Boom! 59. Big hit. Big, big hit. Uh, let's do SGS for this guy, right? So there's an SGS spec 1 and SGS spec 2. We can just take him down normally. All right. This gets a little easier here. We got a major and a melee coming. Melayer can't even see us, so this is pretty free. We'll just wait for a good opportunity to pat down. There we go. Pray melee. Kill the melayer. Free wave. Easy peasy. We're not even going that slow. We're not even going that slow. I mean, yeah, okay, it's a two-hour run, right? But our predicted time right now, with commentary, you know, with going a little slower than normal, we're doing a two-hour run. This is fine. I mean, sure, it's not an hour and a half, but do we want an hour and a half run? Or do we want to do a two-hour run and, and get our cape in an easier way, our first cape? Our first cape. This is not a speedrun strategy. We would not be using these strategies for a speedrun. But we're not trying to do a speedrun. We're trying to get our first cape. All right, so there's the May layer. He's the only one that can see us. So we'll just deal with him really quick. Well, actually, we're going to deal with the uh, the bat. There's the bat. All right, he's down. Free wave. Let's uh, let's SGS get some of our health back. There you go. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Whew! Chanced it. Misclick. All right. We'll do a little lazy flicking. Right? So there's a lot of ways that we can deal with these majors. We can lazy flick. We can flinch. Or, if you really want, you can just camp your, uh... Camp your mage prey. No real harm in any of that. Camping mage prey is fine. We can just camp it. We got an extra valley shield. We still got... Eight full restores. We're about two-thirds of the way through the Inferno. We're fine. We're fine on supplies. All right, now how do we want to deal with this? Oh, don't even have to think about it. Here comes the melee. Don't click early, right? Wait for him to walk away from you. Never click the melee when he is standing on top of you. Very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Oh, hurry up. Misclicking. Alright, not bad. Oh, that sucks. Oh, I want to kill that guy. So we'll just switch pillars. I don't want to lose my south pillar. It's a very important pillar to me. Are we going to get the major? Yeah, we're going to get the major. But that stupid melee is going to dig, so we are going to have to do a rotation here. We can try to kill him quickly. Flicking, uh... Flicking rigor see if we can get him down quick. Now, I don't want to deal with off ticking, so I'm just running. Put my uh, melee gear on, tank some hits from the bats. We're done. Put my range gear back on. Look, very easy. There's no harm in switching pillars. That did absolutely nothing. That did absolutely nothing to me. Alright, so how do we want to deal with this? Well, we can wait for the melee to dig in, but let's save a little bit of time. We'll pray against the major. Bat save spot. Oh, and here he is, so we'll deal with him. Notice he doesn't even attack you right away. There is a short delay, a couple ticks, I don't know what it is, three or four ticks, but there's a short delay after he digs. He doesn't just, like, instantly go on the offense, right? He, he does wait a little bit. So anyway, bat safe spot, kill the bats. 
Let's pray against the Major. Here comes the next bat. He's coming around. Kill the other bat. Who do you respawn? He respawned as uh, his melee buddy. Okay, that's okay. Whatever. So just come on over to our bat safe spot and hit the Major. Maybe we kill him. Maybe the melee or digs. Who cares? Deal with everything one at a time. Right, where it really starts getting messy is wave 50 plus, where we have majors and rangers. So here we go. That melee will dig any second now. Here he comes. Step out from under him. Let's take him down. Alright, bat safe spot. Kill the bat. There we go. We're getting close. What are we on? Wave 45? Yeah, we're getting there. That's for sure. Okay. Melee. Let's see if we can barrage that nibbler really quick. Hopefully that kills him. And yep, free wave. Free wave. Wow. Or maybe I should say, and the wave is instantly solved. Look at that. Holy cow. So yeah, a lot of these waves aren't bad. A lot of these waves get instantly set. They just get instantly solved. You got to deal with the nibblers. You know, our pillar is like half health, I think, up there. This one doesn't really matter. But you got to deal with the nibblers. But uh, yeah, if you have a really nasty wave, if your wave is just looking horrible, right off the get-go, everything is surrounding you. Everything's on top of you, right? Uh, run south. South pillar fixes a lot of problems. It really does. It fixes a lot of problems. So anyway, uh, we talked about this. How, how do we deal with this? We can even SGS off this kind of thing, right? So pray against the back one. Pray range. Pray against the back one. Pray range. Right? Not bad. Not bad. That, these things that you're seeing, right? These flinchings where we run back and come back. Or, or like, right? We pray against the back one, come back, pray against the, uh, the blob. That's an opportunity where you would normally be uh, two tick flicking. Two tick flicking. But we're not doing any of that. It's unnecessary. It's a little bit faster. Right? I, I, I will definitely admit it's a little bit faster. But we don't need to do it. It's unnecessary. So here, let's just kill that blob really quick. Uh, pray against the blob. Take him down. I think that got him. All right. Barrage off this guy. Heal a little bit. No big deal. Now we got a ton of little guys that we can heal off of really quick. So we'll do that. Did that kill any? Yep, it did. And let's pray mage just in case. Just in case. Alright. Done. So yeah, when you got blobs and big monsters, right? Majors, rangers, something. Uh, when you got blobs and a major or blobs and a ranger, that is an opportunity where you could be doing... Um, two tick blob flicking but we are not we're not worried about that in this guide um there are easier more simplified less efficient but more simplified ways to deal with that sort of situation and that's what i really want to show you guys is that we don't need to learn these um um you know intimidating prayer techniques we don't need to learn them there are ways to beat this content without learning those types of techniques. Yes, they're faster. They're much more efficient. But we don't need to go that route if we don't want to. I think he's dead. Should be dead. Oh, maybe not. Pray melee just in case. Yeah, that guy just didn't want to die. All right, wave 46? I don't know. What's this going to look like? Uh, not that bad. Come down here. Right? Because I can barrage from this tile. Alright, now I just got to deal with the bat. The wave is solved. The wave is done. 
Look, we're in these, you know, we're in pretty deep waves of the Inferno. There's a lot of monsters spawning. We got bats, blobs, uh, majors, and melees. We have everything except for a ranger right now, for the most part. And uh, this is wave 46, and these waves can get instantly solved just hanging out this tile. If it doesn't work, if it's not solved immediately right off the bat, we can run south. We can run south, and that usually usually i'd say probably about 70 80 percent of the time that solves our problems if it doesn't solve our problems we run back north maybe we've got to chug a little brew right maybe we use one brew not a big deal it won't happen all the time so here's our good opportunity to flinch right here we go in out prey blob in out prey blob we can even be more efficient right turn off turn on Turn off, turn on, right? So there are ways to get efficient with this little method, especially if you just want to save a little prayer. Uh, we don't have to. We can just do pray mage and pray range, right? We can take it easy. We can take it slow. Uh, we can get a little more efficient with it. But I got that second fallow shield, which I'm probably going to be using in a minute here. He's going down pretty good. What is this? Wave 46. So these that we're dealing with, these are definitely, like pretty much by far, the hardest of the early waves because we have blood we have everything, right? We got ranger or we got majors, blobs, melee, we got bats, we got a little bit of everything. These waves that we're dealing with right here, 46, 47, and probably 48, uh, some of the hardest waves in the Inferno. If you can beat these, very high chance that we can make it all the way to the end. Uh, we do have a few more techniques that we're going to be learning, and that will be solved in the next video where we cover wave 50 to the end. Whoa. Actually, let me Uh, did that get him? I think that got him. Oh, hopefully I can kill this bat really quick. This is a lot on me. Nice that everything got really soft. So I didn't panic. I stayed close to my gate because I saw that the... Or close to my pillar because I saw that the... Major was stuck. And I'm trying to get this guy down really quick before the melee digs. Here he comes. Melee digs. Let's kill the bat. We're going to protect against the melee. So this is a pretty scuffed wave. It's going to be okay. Let's go kill these little bloblets. Is that everything? Nice and easy. Alright, I didn't get a chance to use the Fally Shield. I kind of panicked there with the, uh, the Restore. This wave went a lot smoother than it could have. So we stayed close to our pillar that trapped the melee right here. We saw that the major was already trapped here. And basically everything was range. Uh, we had the blob. We had the blob that we were just kind of flicking against. That was it. So he might resurrect his buddies. I don't care. If he resurrects his bodies, I just deal or his buddies, I'll just deal with them again. Not a big deal. All right, and the major is. Let's just fl flick him and get him down really quick. He's down. We can even heal off this guy's little bloblets when they spawn. So here we go. We'll heal up the bloblets. Pretty good hit. And I think that killed him. I got him. Full health. Alright. Double blob and a major. Let's get up here. Let's go south, right? This is a really good opportunity to go south. We're getting pelted. We're getting bombarded. Let's kill this blob really quick. Oops. Doesn't want to go down. 
definitely gonna have to run when the uh here it is when the melee air happens so we'll put our uh put our tank gear on pray mage and take off running maybe the major comes right down does it come right down that would be okay actually maybe not because now we got to deal with that melee again this kind of sucks Try and kill him really quick. So I don't have to deal with that melee. Or I really don't want to. But it worked out. So now we can just deal with the melee. And the wave is basically done again. Let's uh, let's SGS up. Was that the double blob wave? Yeah, this was the double blob wave. So this was the hardest wave of the first 50. Or the first 49 waves. Out of the first 49 waves, this right here was the hardest wave. So we just got to deal with those double blobs. Maybe we can wiggle some of those bloblets down. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, they don't want to come. So we're just going to have to kill some of the uh, the big blobs. Right, we got a major act there. So let's do our flinching. One, two, pray. One, two, pray. Right? And nothing hits us. The guy in the back doesn't hit us. I don't even know if he could reach us. I don't think he was reaching us, actually. But, uh, that's a fine way to deal with multiple different styled monsters all looking at you at the same time. So how do we want to deal with this? Let's just barrage, right? We could use a little health. Let's, uh, barrage this and run back and heal. That'll even drag some of them down. Get him barrage off this guy. Just thins the herd a little bit. Right, let's do it on this side so those meleeers don't come charging in. So we'll pray against the ranger, right, the little green guy. Switch, run on back. Right, we didn't take any damage there. So there's, you don't need to be standing out in the open all the time. We can be using these pillars to our advantage. Let's uh, let's barrage this last little pile right here. Hopefully that kills him before he reaches me. It did, and we just deal with the final blob. All right. Okay, okay, and I think he's down. Not yet, one more. Please, there we go. All righty. Here comes some meleeers. Hopefully I can kill this clump really quick. Get back here for the meleeer. And the wave again is solved. We'll just, uh, we'll kill this meleeer. This one will work his way down. He'll dig. We can just wait him out. And then we just deal with the major. Alright. So, uh, yeah. I don't want to waste prayer. You know, if I stepped out here, I'd, I could be attacking the meleeer, I suppose. Uh, we'll just wait for him to dig. No big deal. Again, wait for him to move. When he's dancing on us like that, do not click him. Wait for him to get, um, uh, you know, wait for him to get set. Wait for him to get in place. Don't attack early. I'm not even going to show you guys what happens if you attack early because it can be devastating. Do not do it. All right, he's down, and now we just deal with the Major, and we are almost done. We're going into Major Ranger. So this is the end. Uh, here, actually, one sec. This is the end of Part 1 of The God. Um, we finished up through Wave 49. We got to show some really convenient flinching techniques. We got to see how to flinch when we have a blob, an alternative to the two-tick blob flick. Um, we got to see how to deal when we have a blob and a ranger stacked. We got to see how to deal with a blob and a major stacked. And in this next video, part two, which is coming really soon, we're going to do wave 
50 up through single jad and we're going to be doing all that and we'll be able to see how do we deal with a major ranger combo and that's coming next so uh this has been pretty good so far we've used half of a restore and i think two brews i wish we didn't use those two brews but you know what mistakes happen uh and that's okay and it's going to happen to all of us and it's a learning process so uh i'm gonna cut this here and we're gonna pick up exactly where we left off in wave 50. so i'll see you guys in the next